haven't vlogged almost all day. It's uh, almost four o'clock. Because I've been in maniac clean mo mode today, trying to get the house back in order. That's what my Mondays pretty much consist of. But I have something exciting to talk to you guys. Not about cleaning the house, because that's not exciting. That's kind of annoying, actually. So, what I'm gonna talk to you guys about is we are on our way somewhere. We are on our way somewhere fun and exciting and new. It's Something that we've never done before, ever. Are you guys ready to hear what it is? It's piano lessons. Oh, Mason, I was gonna get you to like yell it. Piano lessons! Piano lessons! Mason's going to piano, his very first piano lesson. Yay. He's so excited. So, um, my mom was called. She had a doctor's appointment. She was gonna stop by the house. So, um, we told her that we were getting ready to leave for piano lessons. So she said, well, I'll just stay there with um, Jacob and Maddie and hang out with them and, you know, um, just kind of hang out with them while you guys go. So, I was like, perfect. That actually worked out really well so that we can focus on little Mason. Have a little one-on-one -on -one with Mason this afternoon at his lesson. So, he is super excited. I can't wait. He is passionate about his piano. So, um, hopefully this will go well and he'll enjoy it. I think he will enjoy anything. So, they said that it may not be an actual lesson today. They may just be talking about, like, what we need to get as far as, like, the books and everything and, um, like, what the lessons are going to look like. Or it may be an actual piano lesson. So, we're not 100% sure, but straight. It's right off this road. It's right off this road. Just go straight. So, we're on our way to that. Um, it's pretty close to the house. So, that's great. Doesn't take long to get there. And, yeah. He's excited. He is super excited. So today's a busy, Mondays are a busy day, but Mondays are a good day to have lessons because I never work Mondays. Like I always take Mondays off. So um, those are really perfect days for, to do lessons. And we called about getting Miss Maddie into dance. Um, so she may be starting dance lessons, but not until like July, August. I believe is when they start so we'll be um, trying to get her in in a few months so that's exciting after she turns three she'll be turning three in June and that's when I started dance lessons so I'm sure she'll be excited about that um, oh this road is so narrow it scares me oh jeez, I'm holding on to my bar because I have so much anxiety on this road and um, we're gonna be turning left up here Okay, well that's real good you tell me that. Yeah, right. just just that. stay right here. Oh my gosh, I have to get off of here because I'm having too much anxiety. I'll see you guys in a minute. Bye. All right, we're waiting. We're waiting on his teacher. Are you excited? Mm -hmm. Yes, are you? So this is what it looks like. They've got rooms on every side with pianos. Pretty cool. This says Bluegrass Strings Instructor. another art studio over there which is cool there's an art studio much fun he didn't have like a technical lesson but we talked to the lady and um, she told us what we needed to go get we had to go we're going right now to get his piano books and um, she asked Mason to show her a little bit about like what he does at home on his piano and he performed beautifully 
and he's excited. Are you excited? Yeah. <laughs> We're so excited. And his um, instructor is just the sweetest thing. She is so sweet. She is actually a music instructor at her church and she does private lessons in her home. Um, and she works for the School of the Arts. And so um, it just seems like such a nice place. I'm so excited. So excited. Mason's excited too. So he's gonna have lessons every Monday. Fun, fun. Sunday. Every, the day after Sunday, right? Mm -hmm. The day after Sunday, each week, you'll have your piano lessons. So we're on our way down to get his piano books. Um, and hopefully we can find this place. I think I know where it is. It's right past my favorite ice cream store. Ice cream? Did you say ice cream? <laughs> you talking ice cream, you talking my language. Mm -hmm. You're talking about ice cream. Ice cream. They have the best in the entire world chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream. Oh, can I, can I eat it right now? In a waffle cone. Mm. It's so good. What, baby? <laughs> can we go eat it? I don't know. We gotta oh, get home to We already passed it, didn't we? Ice cream floor. No, it's, it's yeah, on down. That's the ice cream store's back there. Oh. Well, it should be. a big ice cream cone. Chocolate chip cookie dough. The best ever. And here's mine in a waffle cone. Daddy's got strawberries. Delicious. Mm. Hey guys. So um, after we got home, my mom was there and she wanted me to take some pictures of her. She had like a bedding, a new bedding. Um, not new, but like a queen comforter set that she wanted to sell. Um, she's trying to raise some money to get a new refrigerator. So she wanted me to take pictures and list it for sale and she brought over some wall art. So I didn't do much vlogging. Um, but anyway, we put the bed, the bedding on my bed upstairs to take pictures. And it's a Biltmore, like the Belks Biltmore brand. It's super nice. I think she said she paid like $500 for the whole set because it was like lots of extra throw pillows and stuff like that. Look at these trees, how pretty. Oh, I love those. Um, you didn't even look, Daddy. Sorry. Um, so anywho, it looked so nice on my bed when I put it on there and I was like, how much do you want to list this for? And she said, I don't know, probably a hundred dollars for the set. And I was like, okay. So anyway, my husband came in and I was taking pictures of it to list and he was like, you want this, don't you? And I was like, yeah, but we don't have to get it. Cause I know it's like, you know, out of our budget. We don't really, it's not a need, you know what I mean? And um, so anyway, he was like, oh, we can get it on this weekend or whatever after I get paid. And so I'm so excited. I have a new bedding set, so excited. But I'm just gonna keep the other one that's on there to like switch it out. But I'll show you guys when we get home. It's so nice. 
So I ended up telling my mom that I had found someone to purchase it this weekend and she was like, oh, that's great. And I was like, yeah. And uh, I kind of gave her this look and she was like, it's you, isn't it? And I was like, yep. <laughs> so I'm excited. New bedding, new bedding. Such a good deal. And like, I don't really spend money on like big expensive linens and stuff like that. That's just not something that I've ever done. <laughs> so. To have something really nice like that at a fraction of the cost, I really couldn't pass it up. It's a good deal. What do you mean? You got me at a fraction of the cost. I did. I found you on a bargain. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad it was all sales final. <laughs> I know. I know. You'd have returned me very quickly. I know. No returns or exchanges. I know. As is, no warranty. Yep. <laughs> So um, then we were outside telling Nana bye, and um, I really need some chapstick, but I don't know where it is. Oh, I got some up here. Um, so we were telling Nana bye, and then we realized that we needed to. Ambulance. Oh, yikes. Let's see what I can do. Maybe he'll take this way. Is he stopping? So we did that so that the tent wouldn't blow away because we really didn't have it like um, anchored down. So we got that broke down and picked up some trash outside. So I didn't vlog any of that, sorry guys, but I thought I would catch you up as to what we've been doing today. And then, um, so because of all that, I didn't cook dinner. So we're gonna run out and grab a bite to eat. So that is what we are doing. And tomorrow is our community day. So we can't be up late. We have to get home and get all these kiddos in the bed. So we have to get ready for our school day tomorrow. So I'm not sure what we're gonna eat, but I also wanted to run into um, the Christian bookstore because I am so motivated by seeing all of these really awesome pictures on Instagram to do the um, Bible journaling. Um, it just seems really cool. It's right up my alley. Oh, there must be an accident or something. There's a fire truck. Um, it just seems like something that it's like super, super fun and cool. Uh, yeah, I'm going the right way. Just making sure. So I might go and look and just see. I don't know how expensive those are. So if they're really expensive, I'll only get one. But I just wanted to look at them because it seems like it will be really really a cool way. Oh my word, two more? It's a fire. It's a fire? Lighter truck's coming up. Ooh, fire. Um, seems like it would be a really cool way to like really make the scriptures come out, um, like stand out, you know, and like, I don't know, kind of accentuate some of the verses and things like that right there in your Bible. So um, thinking about doing that and that's about it. I don't have any clue if you guys can see me, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop vlogging since it's pretty dark. And I will see you guys in a few minutes. You want some crayons? Yeah. You wanna do? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I want crayons. You want crayons? I want crayons. Okay. We'll get some crayons. Mm. Alrighty. What do you wanna eat? Mmm. You wanna? All right, that's perfect. Thanks. Come on in. You can scoot in. You want to sit beside me, Jake? So we are having some dinner at the Applebee's. We just left the Christian bookstore. You're getting yogurt. Yeah, for me. Yogurt. Yeah, for me. Okay, for you. Yeah. And what else? Yogurt. What do you get? Uh, real cheese with carrots and ranch. Those are my favorites. Real cheese and carrots and ranch? Yeah. Yeah. What? Oh, Daddy's playing with that little thing. It's really kind of cool. That's me. You gonna let him play it? Hmm? Can I play it? You wanna play it? It's like $1.99. I'll give you all my money. I don't, know. I don't think we need to do that. It's really unnecessary. Our food should be out soon. 
<laughs> so anywho, we just left the Christian bookstore and Jimmy got a Bible and I got one of the, like I was telling you guys, the journaling Bibles and I cannot wait to show you guys because it, it is really cool. I cannot wait to eat my gummies. <laughs> it's really cool. I'm so excited to do the journaling and um, like the art and stuff in there. And, really and, and my gum has smiley faces on it. She's bringing it. And, she, bring and, it. and my gum has smiley faces on it. What I happened? They're going to bring your yogurt, I promise. I do, I do this. Oh, so good. Very nice. Maddie, With red Maddie, ears. you can't be loud in here at the uh, restaurant. And my, and my ears red. Mm -hmm. Very good. That would be good. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Very nice. Now look, this will be fun. You look at the number, like this says number nine, and then you come over here and find the number nine and write the letter that's underneath it. So you would write P. So do you want a pencil? I'll write. That, that might be a little hard to write with. Here, use this. You find the letter and you write it. Stop it. Okay, Jake, stop it. Oh, man. Uh, 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 no. What should be nice? Does that look yummy? Taste yummy? Mine looks yummy. Daddy's looks yummy, although I don't eat shrimp. <laughs> Maddie, Jacob, yeah. I know where her going to be. Over there. It's over there. It's over there. Go sit down. Macaroni. Yeah. Look, your yogurt, you can dip apples in it. You can dip apples in your yogurt. Give me a ketchup over Macaroni. Can we say a blessing before you start eating these? Oh, say a blessing. Is it good, Jake? Very delicious. Is it good, Manny? Yeah? Good, Daddy? Very good. Mason, is it good? Mm -hmm. I have real cheese. I I have yep, Mommy shared her pasta with Mason. Carrots my favorite. <laughs> I am a burning apple You got apples and yogurt. And yogurt. Yeah. That's not ranch, that's yogurt. No, that will I my apple. Give me a drink. Don't take a Well, we are home, and I've got the kids in here. In my room. They're ready for bed. You guys ready for bed? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't get to show you guys the bedding, but maybe I can. So it looks like this has a nice skirt, bed, uh, bed skirt. Here's all the pillows that go on it. They're, it's really nice. You can't really get the full effect of it, but the quality of this comforter is so amazing. I love it. It's really heavy. Just really, really nice. So we're going to use this one for a while. It's comfy. The kids really want to read this book. They love Harold and the Purple Crayon. Hey, I want I'm gonna to read. That. I'm going to read to you guys. Mom, do you have anything I can drink? Huh? Do you have anything I can drink? Drink? I'll get you some water in just a minute. Okay, so we are going to read Adventures of Harold and His Friends. All right. Harold couldn't sleep. His mother's birthday was the next day. Harold didn't know what to give her. He wanted to find the perfect birthday present. Harold didn't think he could find it in his bedroom. So he picked up his purple crayon and set off on an adventure. Daddy's here. Yeah, Daddy's back from the store. Dad! Shh. Harold decided to go for a walk. He drew a path and started on his way. Harold drew a tree. It was such a nice tree that he drew one more, and one more, and one more. Did he make a whole giant forest? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Soon, there was a forest. Harold walked under the trees. 
They were so tall they stretched up to the sky. Stretched up to the forest on the bird's back. Where are you going? Up to Daddy. I'm going to come up to you. Okay. Guess it's just me and you, kid. <laughs> All right. Harold drew a bridge and crossed over to the other side. That's a smart idea, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Now the sun was high and it was very hot and the flowers were sleepy and droopy. The flowers needed some water. Harold reached as high as he could and drew a big rain cloud in the sky. The cloud blocked out the sun. Drip, drip, drip. Rain came down from the cloud. Harold drew an even bigger cloud. Drip, drop, drip, drop. The rain poured down on Harold's head. So what is it? Harold would give his mother a flower. Okay, you're back. Lay down. He knew she would love it. She could keep his, this flower forever and it wouldn't need water or sunlight. When Harold finished the flower, he left the picture where his mother would see it and then he climbed into bed. Oh, he drew a nice flower for her. That is so sweet. That's like what you do for me, isn't it? Then Harold dropped, dropped off to sleep and Harold's purple crayon dropped to the floor.